It is March 20th, 2023, the spring equinox. I'm James Dodd Jr., super organizer. It's an SOS short. Uh, as I am still dealing with some family stuff, uh, I'm not able to do a full show, but it's discounts. I'm still doing episodes. Thanks for supporting us all these years as we head towards nine years of doing this. A longest running show. Very popular. So thank you very much. Audio and video. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Uh, but it's spring, it's spring equinox. It's springtime it means spring cleaning. The first quarter of the month is always really busy for us organizers. Uh, New Year's resolutions, uh, new goals for the year. We're home for the winter. It's clearing things out. And then now springtime comes. Um, it is, you've, been grow, you've grown up with the, the phrases. It's time to do spring cleaning. Everybody has their spring chores. Time to change out outfits, all kind of stuff. But I'm not even. I'm, I will give tips and things later in a month. We'll talk about. We'll talk about that as we go along. But I actually want to talk to your mental state because that before you do anything, before you pick up a piece of clothing or something off the floor or something off the couch, it begins with your mental state. Before I do that, of course, my thanks and gratitude go to my granddaughter Scarlett, who just turned eighteen, um, and to my mom who's recovering. So to my mom Benita, so I'm give shout out to both my ladies. My strong women's. That's my thanks to gratitude. Okay. So I think, okay. There have been a lot of different organizing programs, we'll say, uh, house renovation programs. Um, books have come out. Uh, even parody skits and things have come out because organizing is, is, a, is growing, of course. But also, it's becoming a little more known, more popular. But what's happening with this with this genre, it just naturally happens. So a lot of times you'll just get a couple of people's points of view of how to organize. Uh, if you don't know this already, there are many different ways to get organized. That's not just one or two ways. There are many different ways. Um, also, in the advent of social media, a lot of my colleagues, some of many I've, I've helped, are actually now online giving organizing tips. Um, there are a lot, there are a lot out there on all social media platforms. So you might be now getting inundated with Organize, 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 organize. And now for many people, that turns them off. For many people, it, it freezes them into doing nothing. And that's what I want to have happen. So I'm just telling you, I'm going to tell you now, it's okay to be disorganized. It's okay to be um, a hoarder, messy, and all that stuff, or have hoarder so messy, because it can be fixed. It can be helped. Um, and it just takes step by step. But the first step is like taking the guilt and the shame out. You, I know you see a lot of people just block all that stuff out. You are okay. You are recognizing you want to change your life. And that's fine. That's how you start. You want to change your life. Um, and but I just think, I just know that it may feel like people are just coming at you like, you're just a messy person. You're this, you're that. It sounds so negative. But in reality, think of it this way. Myself and others are just trying to tell you and show you and help you see that um, a more organized, cluttered, free lifestyle can do wonders for your life and your health, physical and mental health. It can. Um, one of the things I mean, I, even I hear in all those messages is that it does take time. There is no guilt and shame. You'll hear me say it over and over again. There's no guilt and shame. Everybody gets where they get where they get. I have a little mess right here. I'm going to fix that today. But I have a little mess on that table. It's been there for three or four days. I've been taking care of my mother. Life gets in the way. I will get that taken care of. There's actually places for all that stuff because originally I got organized. A lot of times the hard work's in the beginning. And then once you have it set up. You can do your life however, and then you, but you can always get back to zero. You can always, we have things where they're supposed to be. When things are out of place, you put them where they're supposed to be. But it's more of the mindset, and that I'm encouraging you and inviting you to not feel bad, not feel like you got to get everything done tomorrow, not feel like everybody's yelling at you. Try to blank out all of that, so to speak. There are some great organizer friends of mine who are, who are giving great advice and who are amazing and wonderful and are really here to help you they really are 
Uh, they love what they do. They love talking about it. They love getting it out there. And I just, and this, 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 what this show's about. I love this field of organizing. Um, but also, you know, if one way doesn't work for you, try another way. There is a way for you to try another way. Seek out different ways to organize and find the one that makes you feel comfortable. It is your space. It is your home. It is your stuff. Um, and you should be able to handle it however you want to. But I'm just, but just keep it back in your mind that if things have a place and things aren't impeding your way to walk or talk or think, it can be really nice. It really can. I, you know, and I, you know, if there are folks who are minimalists, you'll see those folks. It may not be for you. It's okay if it's not for you. Okay. You know, Marie Kondo and her, just what sparks joy, that may not be for you. It's okay. Some folks, it may be for them to take all their stuff out and put it on a, on a couch and say, bye, yes, bye, yes. It works for some people. I have clients it works for. If you're afraid of your mail, the mail's just piling up. It's okay. It happens. Maybe there's some trauma in getting mail and getting an end of bills and everything. Get an organizer, and they will help you out and help you get over that that uh, fear or the trauma of that. It will work with you where you can open your mail objectively and be fine. And then the clutter won't happen either. It won't build up because paper build up is a lot. Um, but I just, I just, I, but I just I feel like I mean, you're going to hear a lot of stuff now, especially, uh, you know, okay, spring cleaning. I, do this, you know, like, I just want you guys to know that it's okay that you are where you are. We can meet you where you are. Any of us organized or anybody, or if you want to do it on your own, take your time. Um, there's no rush. A lot of times, you took you years to get where you are. It may take you years to come out. It may not. But either way, we don't want you to put added pressure and more trauma on yourself just because people are telling you, get organized, get organized, get organized. No, but you, but you should get organized. Do that. But, um, but you pace yourself. Um, give yourself compassion and grace. And really work hard. When it comes to work, picking an organizer, you pick one. I'm for hire. So you want to pick me. Um, I do virtual or, or in person. Um, but when you pick an organizer, it's like anything else. Find the one that clicks with you. Find the one that makes you, that makes you feel good. Find, find the one that has the method that speaks to you in terms of getting you done. You have a right to feel people out. And see what's going on with them, and see, and, and it's nobody's fault or anything. Nobody's bad. It's just it's your it's your chance to really find that person because what you're about to do is very intimate. Getting organized, going through your stuff is very intimate. You want to find somebody you can trust to go through that process with you. Um, but give yourself grace, give yourself compassion, give yourself love, um, and. I hope you don't feel like everybody's coming at you telling you how bad you are, what a bad person. You're not a bad person. You are not a bad person. You got to you got disorganized. It happens. You got to hoard it. It happens. You know, but the lucky, lucky thing is you, you can't be, this stuff can be taught. There's a, there is a better way out there for you. You know, you're not, you're not stuck forever. You're not, and everything's not set in stone. That's the wonderful thing. As long as, like, right, as, long as you wake up and breathing, right? It's always a chance. I'm James Lodge, you super organizer. A uh, lot of help.com slash super organizer. Check me out there. Uh, super organizer on Facebook and Twitter, the super O on Twitter, the SUS show on Twitter, the super organizer show on Twitter. Follow me everywhere. And we will see you next time.